This is Matthew Cratter's Bitcoin University. Today, I want to talk about devs nuked the wallet. I want to begin with Bitcoin Core maintainer Gloria Zhao joking about a Bitcoin Core wallet update causing Bitcoiners to lose money, if you can believe it. It's not a joke that anyone who actually owns any Bitcoin would find funny. And this is a bit of a prophecy, as it turned out, because this tweet is from May 7th, 2025. Gloria writes, devs nuked the wallet, basically deleting money. Why is no one talking about this? Basically joking about people losing Bitcoin because of something that Bitcoin Core developers did to the wallet. Gloria goes on to write, in all seriousness, huge props to A. Chow for dealing with six plus years, six years of rebase hell in order to support legacy wallet migration as smoothly as possible. That phrase to support legacy wallet migration as smoothly as possible, alas, it was not to be. And Gloria's joke seems a lot less funny now that it's actually happened, now that there actually has been a bug. A wallet migration bug has been found in Bitcoin Core 30 that not only deletes your legacy wallet when you attempt to migrate it, but it also deletes the whole folder that contains that wallet, including any other Bitcoin wallets that you might be storing there. So if you've been keeping your Bitcoin wallet file in a folder with other precious items, for example, like family photos, everything will get deleted by Bitcoin Core version 30. And legacy wallets, it may sound like this is Satoshi era stuff, but legacy wallets are not as old as they sound, but could be as recent as wallets created in 2021, 2022. The other really bad thing is that Bitcoin Core 30 forced users to migrate legacy wallets by ending support for them in the very release, in this release that also contained a bug that could delete your wallet when you attempted to migrate it. That's really the brain trust that is Bitcoin Core today. Here's the report from January 5th, 2026. Notice wallet migration bug present in Bitcoin Core Wallet 30 and 30.1. It looks like a user may have actually already lost their Bitcoin because of this bug. This is Dan Dactyl saying, I lost my wallet file because of the stupid stuff. Luke Dasher saying, no backup. You might want to hit power off on that machine immediately and try to seek data recovery services. Dan writes, no backup, unfortunately. Should have moved earlier. Just never had a reason to. It's interesting to see here. It's not a Bitcoin core dev who is helping this poor user. It's actually Luke Dasher from Bitcoin Knots. It's a good reminder that you should always back up your recovery seed before doing a wallet migration. But it's also a good reminder that the reference implementation of Bitcoin node software probably shouldn't delete your wallet directory when a wallet migration fails. That's really software 101. Don't delete the old thing until you're quite sure that the new thing is working well and contains everything that was in the old thing. Even an English major like myself can understand a basic principle of software development like that. Also, if you're literally forcing people to migrate by ending support for a wallet type, maybe you should spend a few extra cycles testing everything to make sure that it works when people actually migrate. If you're finding this video interesting so far, I'll pause really briefly here just to ask you to hit the subscribe button. That does really help the channel. Maybe leave a like and a comment as well. So this bug, this Bitcoin Core bug, is in fact so severe that Bitcoin Core has completely removed Core 30 from its download page here. We can see we're back to version 29.2. So now Core is basically back to where it was before this whole mess, before it pushed through a highly contentious update that was not only buggy, but that opened up the Bitcoin network to the multifarious risks that come with allowing large blobs of non-monetary data to be circulated by nodes. So it's really been a disastrous nine months for Bitcoin Core. It looks like even Bitcoin Core version 29 may be affected since they're backporting a fix for that version as well. We can see the discussion here on branch 29, H House saying that David Gumberg discovered that a form of the deletion bug is also reachable in version 29. Toronto Hoddle writes here, but Adam Back told us knots was risky, not core. And we can see here Nick Zabo saying, yes, I strongly recommend running Bitcoin knots, not Bitcoin core. Adam Back piping up and saying, I recommend the opposite for security reasons. 40K lines of literal review change set in knots, etc. So it looks like Adam was wrong yet again. Bitcoin Core supporters spent, like Adam, Bitcoin Core supporters spent most of 2025 talking about Core's gold standard of software development. Over 200 devs, the smartest people in the world of open source software, pouring over every single little detail in the code while asserting that Luke Dasher was this irresponsible, sloppy, rogue dev whose software was full of bugs. When in fact, Luke has literally saved Bitcoin multiple times. 
I think Bitcoin Mechanic makes a good point in his latest video that cores 200 people looking for bugs may lead to worse outcomes than not so much fewer devs looking for bugs. Since in the case of the larger group, everyone's going to be thinking that someone else will catch the bugs. At any rate, something does seem to be seriously broken over at core. As Mechanic writes here, it does seem more and more that there are in fact procedural safeguards and known principles that are not being adhered to in core. And Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg has a thread there on that, which you can read. I also put a link to Mechanic's latest video about this whole debacle, which is quite interesting to watch. As Luke Dasher points out here on the GitHub, this bug was reported on December 20th, two weeks prior to the 30 uh, version 30.1 release, and yet it still made it into version 30.1. So that's another problem. Here's a link to the GitHub showing that this bug was reported, in fact, to Bitcoin Core before they released version 30.1, and yet they did nothing about it. We can see this discussion extends even back to September 1st of 2025, and Ellen Camp goes finally realizes I want to open the discussion as I'm starting to doubt if Bitcoin Core is still catering to Bitcoin users' needs. This is all the discussion with A. Chow, who's really in charge of the wallet over at Bitcoin Core, talking about legacy wallets and how they're going to be migrated. And it turns out that if A. Chow had listened a little more closely to users here, maybe this problem would not have happened. So Bitcoin Core is no longer the gold standard of open source software development. Most prominent Bitcoin Core devs like Gloria really, I think, are a bunch of immature, out of touch inexperienced former shipcoiners who were basically still in high school when Luke Dasher was already saving Bitcoin. So this is the problem. You can see this when they joke about Bitcoiners losing money due to wallet updates and then an actual Bitcoin user does lose money and they're nowhere to be found. This latest severe bug is yet more evidence that Bitcoin Core no longer adheres to the highest standards of meritocracy but chooses instead to reward political climbers who apparently date the founders of Bitcoin Core nonprofits to get their jobs and I'll put a link to the two videos that I made that allege this relay Bitcoin Core arbitrary data and Bitcoin Core nepotism and commit access. That's why I and so many other Bitcoiners have dumped Bitcoin Core node software and are now running Bitcoin Knots. We can see the Bitcoin Knots numbers are literally hitting new highs as we speak, in part because of the scandal and how buggy it's turning out Bitcoin Core is and, is, and also just their response to this whole debacle. I'll put a link to this video, which I made yesterday, that teaches you how to run Bitcoin Knots on a personal server, which is really the best way to do it. And you can either buy one of these servers or you can build your own. I show everything in this video, which I'll link to in the description notes below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.